Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul and in this Red Game Digicom video we're going to be discussing the release date of AMD Zen processors and the AM4 motherboard based on the X370 series chipset. So just to get everyone on the same page, Zen is the new upcoming architecture from AMD. It's an entire new series of processors and given from what we know from leaks and benchmarks, official benchmarks at that, it's looking to be very competitive with even the highest end Intel processors. And in other words, it's going to compete against Skylake, it's going to compete against Broadwell E, and even Intel's upcoming KB Lake series. And it's going to be based on different retail configurations, for example, up to 8 cores, 16 threads for the high-end CPU model, which will, of course, be available for uh, customers with server versions going all the way up to ridiculous numbers, of course. But, with that said, currently, the Bristol Ridge series of APUs is available from AM4 and, in, and AMD have just started to ship them to OEMs earlier this week. Now if you're looking for a Bristol Ridge APU which once again is based on Excavator which is the older architecture they're going to start filtering into retail stores so in other words the Amazons and even you know the brick and mortar places over the next couple of months. But most folks as you can imagine are more interested in Zen if you're building a high-end processor and that's where these new rumors come in. Benchlife are telling us that we're going to be seeing the highest end motherboards which once again is based on the X370 um, chipset as well as the AMD Summit Ridge CPUs hitting store shelves by some point in February 2017 which makes life very interesting for us in the technology industry simply because according to these um, details we're going to be seeing AM4 motherboards being showcased in October and then most likely because CES is being uh, held in January of 2017 that's probably when we're going to start to really see Zen um, being shown off to its fullest potential. Now if you're not interested in the very high end bleeding X370 there's also going to be the B350 and finally the A320. Now obviously there will be some major differences between all of those different platforms with the A320 being the lower end which is for like basic PC functionality. Then you've got the mainstream which is the 350 which is such as additional functionality so you might have basic overclocking features but you won't have massive bandwidth available for like multi GPU configurations but finally the very high end one the X370 is going to be for folks who need like multi GPU for example if you need two or three or whatever graphics cards in a system and if you're really into overclocking of course that's a natural question of like well okay how well does an overclock and we've discussed this at length in the zen analysis which is you know a copious number of times in this channel you can check out something along the lines of is zen really faster than the skylake and broadwell e you can search for that on the channel and it'll pop right up i'll try to remember to link it in the video description as well and we discussed a lot of questions like how well is zen going to overclock and that really is going to be a very big selling point for, of course, X370. Now, in the very distant future, we will eventually see Raven Ridge, which presumably is either going to mostly replace Bristol Ridge, or it's going to vastly reduce the price to Bristol Ridge. Just to clarify, Raven Ridge is going to, of course, be based on Zen as the CPU, and will also feature a built-in GPU architecture, and that will be Polaris-based, which is GCN 4.0. Um, so that's going to be really interesting. But what about Intel? Because most folks would say, well, okay, you can't argue that Zen's looking very impressive, but how is it going to fight against the almighty, you know, Team Blue? Um, and let's face it, Intel have really ruled the roost, whether you're dealing with servers or whether you're dealing with um, high-end desktop processors. Well, it's a bit difficult to know, because currently the KB Lake processors are looking to be available at some point in the first quarter of 2017. Intel are telling us that it's going to be some point in January. So that almost means that unless there's like a major delay, at best, Intel's going to have about a four-week a four week, uh, head start over, over um, Summit Ridge. The problem is, while that we will see some improvements on KB Lake, for example, the i7-7700, 
7700k. There we go, I got there. Features a clock speed of up to uh, 4.5 gigahertz if it's boosting. The problem is it's still the same old 4-core, 8-thread configuration, which theoretically should mean that, at least in number of cores and threads, the higher end Zen part definitely does have a slight advantage. Well, actually quite a large advantage. It's got double the number of threads. So really, it's going to come down to a pricing game, I suspect. So, the too long didn't read take of this whole video is we're going to see the very high-end platforms for AM4 and the processors being released around February time. We should see by the end of this year the motherboard's debut and we should see by January time all of the Summit Ridge goodness being shown off in various conferences and we should finally get a really good understanding of, well, is Zen going to be worth it? And this is especially true, not just for folks who have, the, let's say, an FX8350 or even a 2500 or 2600K or maybe even a Haswell-based system, but it's like, let's say you've been that individual who's invested in a 6700K Skylake or maybe even a 5820K or something like that. Are you going to want to run out, buy a Zen? Or are you going to be good for now? Like, what type of IPC gains are we going to be seeing? Is it going to be worth it for most individuals? Unfortunately, as usual, all we can do is wait. But hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you, I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.